In this video, I think I may have come up with one of the best vlogging setups for your GoPro Hero 7 Black, and especially when it comes to audio. So today, let me show you how we did this. And the way I've seen most YouTubers and vloggers using this Rode Wireless Go is that we placed the receiver on the top of the cold shoe like this and then you take the cable and you plug it into the GoPro adapter and then you take the mic and you clip it on yourself and you wear that like this plus the mic is also great it comes with its own windshield that you can just clip on just like that and now you've got your own bit of wind protection which is great because that's one thing I was really looking for is because the wind here can sometimes be really annoying and by wearing this uh, is great if you're just standing talking to the camera but if I'm out running I'm going to be running along and this is just going to be banging off my chest and that's all you're going to hear you're just going to hear thump 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 so today I kind of came up with the idea of this Ulanzi case when I got it it actually came with this extra cold shoe mount which basically you just put it on the cold shoe here and it extended it for kind of bigger microphones so it kind of got it up out of the way in front of the camera so today I thought well what if I use that on the microphone and then clip this onto the side of the camera could it work? Let's go put it all together and find out. So for this setup to work, what we're going to have to need is one pair of scissors, some 3M tape, um, and obviously the cold shoe adapter, you can see. So what we're going to do, flip this over, take the 3M tape, roughly kind of measure it out, however you want to do it. And Snip that there, and then just cut right across. Then all we're going to do is take that, mount it to the bottom of there, stick it on nice and tight, push it right in. And then the thing with this, if you put it on the correct way, <laughs> that means your mic is going to be facing away from you, which isn't handy. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to swap that around and leave it like that so it'll clip into the camera that way. So take the 3M, finally once you've wrestled with it and make sure you've got it on the right way around and all you want to do is nice flat side, you've got still got access to your buttons here and we're just going to stick that to the side of the camera making sure plenty of room and then just give it a, a decent amount of force to apply that onto there so now you've got that taped on it looks still quite neat and then all we then do is we take our microphone and all then we're going to do is we're going to clip it to the side of the camera and there we go there's our new setup Kind of like a shotgun mic without the shotgun. <laughs> now we've got to see, does this pick up this? So now we have it all set up and running together, let's turn the GoPro on and see what it does. Well, as you'll see here, I've got the receiver connected to the wireless mic. And then all we need to do now is click record on the GoPro and then bring a camera up. Here we go. Hey, how's it going guys? And this now is the audio coming from the Rode Wireless Go. I think it is fantastic audio. Uh, the quality is just amazing for such a simple little setup. And now the great thing is as well, is that if I want to, I can just reach out, take this microphone off, and now I can just place this here, tuck it into my shirt. I can use it, put it around any way I want and it is just fantastic and then when I want to go back running again just clip it back on and that's it guys just such a simple setup I think that a lot of you guys out there who are vloggers and especially myself being a running vlogger and um, this is just going to be great to be able to hold the camera out run along and get great audio 
from the camera because that's one thing guys is out there trying to get good audio um, is really tough especially where I stay with the wind but this is great it's got the little dead cart and I think this is just going to be the ultimate setup. So there you go, that's the setup, but like you say, what is it going to sound like when we're outside? So why not? Let's go for a run. Let's take this out on a run and see exactly what it can do. Let's go. So <clears throat> we're outside and the great thing about this being a wireless microphone is that you can hear me all the way over here. <laughs> um, but the thing about running with it is that it's just on my shirt and it's kind of jumping up and down as I move and don't know if it's banging about, but so far, hopefully you've heard me all the way because <clears throat> if I was to turn my back, it wouldn't pick it up. You've got to stay in line of sight of the camera and the receiver. So <clears throat> there we go. So what I want to do now is figure out how is it going to work with it being attached to the camera with the, shoe, the cold shoe that we put on. We're going to attach it there, go for a little jog vlog and see how it does. I'm interested to see if the, the dead cat stays out of the video, out of the frame, um, because I did see a little bit when I kind of moved it. Uh, so it'll be interesting with running how it does but you could always shoot in 4k and kind of crop in a little bit if need be um, but I know without the dead cut on it'll be fine totally fine so let's take this thing off and let's give it to you guys just pop on the camera and here we go vlog mode so now we're in handheld mode and let's start a jog there is a slight breeze today as well so That'll be really nice to see how this copes with that. I picked up this Rode Wireless Go because I've seen lots of videos just saying how good it was. It was a video by a fellow running YouTuber, filmmaker Stephen J. Reed. He's a, a filmmaker that's from Northern Ireland. He did a great review on this and sort of test. Go check his video out. I'll leave it linked down in the description, he'll go into more in-depth sort of what the, what the capabilities of this microphone are. So, so we're just out in one of my favourite runs, just a nice three and a half sort of four mile run. So it's been absolute glorious day again out here. So, coming this way, there is a breeze, so how is the dead cut performing? That's one thing that I always tackle. Pretty strong winds here, and even when you think it's a nice calm day, there's always something <laughs> blowing around. So, so yeah, feel that. How's that picking up? Doing a good job. Hopefully doing a good job. So I've got the GoPro in linear mode, because that's important. Especially if you want to try to cut out the dead cat. I think if you were to have it in wide, it would see it. And um, so we don't want that. But as soon as you take it off, totally fine. And that's a great thing, because it is wireless. When I want to, I can just, I can just grab it and I can go into full reporter mode. <laughs> Here we are, live <laughs> from the outskirts of Bucky. <laughs> if you are concerned about this, about it being on the side of the camera and not really totally secure, then when you're not using it, you can just put it in your pocket, nice and safe. You probably can't hear me now. <laughs> As you're running away. And the dead cat seems to be staying on really quite now. I'll put this put it back on the camera. See so, yeah, I'll squish the dead cat down so we can see. So the dead cat seems to be staying on really well because I noticed the first sort of batch of these that came out, they weren't staying on very well. And this seems to be 
staying on great, so they have improved that. So that's nice to see. Um, yeah, this just opens up a kind of world of possibilities. Because it'll be interesting, even like so if we were to do an interview with someone, you can have them mic'd up, and that's a really nice feature as well. If you don't like the built-in mic, well, there's a 3.5mm audio jack that you can plug your own mic into. So if you like a lapel mic that, that you prefer, you can use that. It's just amazing. A great little setup. Because it's an omnidirectional mic, that's a bit of a mouthful. I can kind of, you can kind of hear me from all directions, but for me, I can just take this off and then just point it to myself, take it closer, point the camera at what I want to video, get my sort of, let's go up here, sort of get my shot, say what a beautiful day, the waves rolling in, nice and calm, and uh, looking over at the beautiful coastline here, and then all the way around, and there we go, and then we're off again. So neat guys, so neat. So, I haven't seen anyone else with this setup, so it might be the first one. So it'd be really good guys if you can like the video, share it out as well because there'll be lots of other people out there that might be interested in this little setup and uh, help them hopefully create better YouTube videos. Because <laughs> uh, there's one thing that I've been searching for and that is better audio because the GoPro has decent audio but definitely not as good as this so Ooh. so even shots like this there's just no way that I'd be able to get audio to the camera without this thing and if I just take it slow it's not bouncing up and down and it'd be great for making vlogs to show off this beautiful area so oh oh yeah, so there you go guys. I'm just gonna leave the video there um, because you kind of see what it does. Uh, so it's gonna be really good to get out and make some creative videos hopefully and uh, just how we can get the audio away from the camera but also I can get the audio beside the camera and out when I'm running and not have this thing bashing about. But it's great when I can just stand here, talk to you guys, uh, it's just, awesome just love this little thing if you're interested in the setup i will leave all the links to all the products in the description and you can pick them up over at amazon and if you do pick any of these items up guys i do get a small commission from it which is really appreciated and helps support the channel and myself and it'd be really great if you could share this video out and it really would help other people out there who are vloggers and looking for a nice minimal setup because that's definitely what we've got here. And if you have enjoyed the video and you've made it this far, then consider clicking the subscribe button. It would be very much appreciated. Guys, you know what to do. Get out there, run with style, and I shall see you in the next one. Jamie, out. I'm a bit far for the come.